question number five. In this question, we have to compare the brightest and dimmest bulbs. The potential difference across bulb A is maximum. Therefore, it is the brightest. Next, we compare bulb B. In fact, potential difference across B is greater than all these three bulbs. So, B must be brighter than these three. Now, we have to compare B and D. If we take raisins of all the bulbs to be R, then combination of these two is R by 2, combination of these two is 3R by 2, 3R by 2 and R become 3R by 5. That means this whole combination has got raisins 3R by 5, this has got R, the raisins of this part is smaller, therefore potential drop on this part should be smaller. That means potential difference across D is greater than potential difference across B. So the bulb D is brighter than bulb B. Now we have to compare bulbs E, C and F. E and C are in parallel. They have got same potential difference. They must have same brightness. But equivalent of E and C is R by 2 and this bulb is of raisins R. So R by 2 has got naturally smaller potential difference, this got larger potential difference. Therefore, F should be brighter than E and C. Now you can write your answer. A is brightest, next comes D, then comes B, E and C are equal but less than F. So your answer becomes option C. Question number 6. In this question, we have been given that potential difference across 200 ohm resistor is 0. That means potential of this point and this point is same. Now we apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to the first loop traversing in this direction. Suppose current I flows in this sense. According to Kirchhoff's law, in this loop, 50 minus 100 I is 0. And current I is 1 by 2 ampere. Same current flows through the resistor 300 ohm. Next, we apply KVL in the second loop. The potential drop across 300 ohm becomes 150 volt. So, naturally, potential difference across E must also be 150 volt. Now the question arises, what will be the polarity? So if we check, the polarity of this theodore ohm resistor is plus minus. So naturally, the polarity of this cell should be reversed, negative, and with potential difference of 150 volt. That means your answer is A. In question number 7, we have to determine the equivalent resistance between point P and Q. As can be seen that this circuit is symmetrical about line PQ, we can fold this circuit about this line, assuming resistance per length is suppose lambda. So this part of circuit has got resistance lambda L by 2, this has got lambda L upon root 2. When we fold this circuit, then this resistance becomes parallel to this, this part comes onto this part and this resistance gets short circuited. Now this is the equivalent form which can be easily seen that this is equivalent to this circuit which is combination of these resistances. These are in parallel and then these three are in series. After combining and substituting the value of lambda equal to rho unit length upon area, we get the desired result, that is the option A. Question number 8. This question is based on the concept of principle of superposition. As you can see, there is an infinite sheet and from which a wire has been removed. 
the thickness of the wire is A. That means current carried by this wire is current point width multiplied by A. That means at the given point P, the resultant matic field has got contribution from sheet as well as from wire. This is the resultant. When both are present, then resultant will be given by mu naught j by 2. That is the standard formula. And from this formula, if we subtract the contribution of the wire, we get the desired result. So as seen from the diagram, the current is outward. That means contribution due to the sheet is towards left, which is minus i cap. And from this contribution, we have to subtract the contribution of wire. That means field of sheet is this. From this, we have to subtract the contribution of wire, which will be alone the contribution of wire will be mu naught i. Current carried by wire is j a upon 2 pi h. And direction from the contribution of the wire was in fact towards light. So this is the resultant field, which gives you the option number C.